Season 18 just wrapped up So You Think You Can Dance, and with this new season, the show had new judges. Allison Holker, who was married to last season's host and past contestant Twitch, Max Murkowski, and the karma queen herself, Jojo Siwa. We got a chance to speak with the winner, Anthony Curley, who talked about his move to LA and winning the show and his future projects. Hello, my name is Anthony Curley. I am 19 and I am your So You Think You Can Dance season 18 winner. Winner of So You Think You Can Dance season 18 is... Anthony! Honestly, it, it kind of just fell weirdly perfectly. I was in the process of moving in to LA and I was moving out of Arizona. I was leaving my mom, leaving my family. And it was definitely just a lot of big changes for me, but they were, there was like casting networks that were sending emails and stuff. And I was like, I don't know, should I do it? There's a lot going on right now. I don't feel like I should do it. And then uh, Keaton, uh, one of the runner up, the runner up from season 17 actually referred me for the show. And I got emailed like that. And one of the casting producers told me that he referred me and they would love for me to audition. So that was kind of my leeway into being like, okay, I, I think I really should give this a shot. And it was, it was definitely a scary time because I was in the process of moving to LA. I was, you know, teaching my last class in Arizona. There was a lot of change going on. So in my brain, I was like, okay, let me close this chapter here in Arizona. I'm going to move out. I'm going to audition for it. And I'm just going to give it my best shot. So I sent in my submission, I did the things, and then flash forward to December where I auditioned for that. I don't think I would have ever expected to have made it here where I can now like say I'm the winner. It's it's absolutely nuts to me, and I'm very thankful. But yeah, if you told Anthony back in September when he moved that flash forward a couple months, he'd be the winner, so you think you can dance, I, I would laugh. Like I, I'd probably cry, I'd laugh, I'd do, I'd do a bunch of things. <laughs> My name is Anthony Curley. I'm 18 years old and I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. Being here right now is just really making my younger self proud because if I told him that I was here right now, he would be like, what? It's just, that's crazy. We did hear a couple times that it was definitely going to be a new format, kind of new way of shooting things. They were kind of um, selling it to us that it was very docu-series, like it was going to be very personal with the contestants and everything like that. And it was going to kind of be way more grounded with uh, the people they were showing. So we were very excited about that, but there was definitely a lot of guesses like when we would do duos, how would the group dances look, who we were working with. So there was a lot of lot of back and forth with that, but it was definitely crazy having such a big change in my life, yes. And then also being on a show that I love so much where it's also changing and where like the contestants are trusting the producers and we're all kind of like having this big trust circle of, just going forward and rolling with the punches and just doing the best we can to make the best season we could. And I think we're all very happy with it. And I hope we get another season. I hope we get a tour, but there's just, that's definitely a lot of things that we want. And I'm very happy to at least be a part of something new, regardless of the criticism of it or um, the good and bad of it. But I'm, I'm very happy that we did get to be a part of something that is different and something that was you know, making a change and trying to do something new. So I'm very, I'm very happy with the result. And I'm very proud of everyone that worked on this show and all the contestants that I got to dance with too. I know sometimes I'm maybe not the most technical dancer. I've, I've accepted that a, a long time ago, but one thing at my root is that I can always at least do my best to tell my story and emote with something that has been a part of my life. And I always want to make the audience feel something and just give them an experience that I've gone through myself. And I've wanted to just kind of like be external with all those things. And that did help me a lot through the show and making up my solos very last minute. I always just thought down to what, what am I feeling right now? What can I tie this song to? What what do I want to make someone feel in this very moment? So it definitely boiled down to that and how I wanted to express my emotions. And I knew too that I've always been fairly workable. Like I feel like I'm I'm very just kind of roll with the punches type of guy. Like I'm very 
laid back when it comes to the rehearsal process to how the choreographers move and how I want to like I want to be the easiest to work with I can because I know past this show and working with all these choreographers I've wanted to maintain these connections and hopefully work with them in the future fingers crossed and just continue to grow these relationships with them and have these opportunities to grow and learn and be a student and just enjoy dance and you know do my do the thing that you know all of us have been wanting to do our whole life which is just to be an industry dancer and be working and enjoying that life that we've curated for ourselves so there's definitely been that for the root uh which is just being as workable as i can and doing all the things i can to be the best that i can be for the choreographer to the people around me and just you know creating a better environment as a whole this has been the most eye-opening experience of my life do you think she's cute yes I think as a lot of people know, me and Dekayla are very romantically minded. It, I'm happy to say that we are we are still together post show. We are long distance right now because you know she's figuring out her move and finishing a lot of things on her side. She's on the East Coast right now, but eventually she's going to move out to LA by the end of the year. And I'm very excited that we continue we get to continue our journey together once she gets out here and we get to, you know, have that. I think it's it's so crazy that we're all gonna be together personally but like we could also be booking these new jobs together and doing these experiences together as well because we're all so inclined on the same same level of uh where we were from so it's definitely this little family that we've created and i'm excited to move forward with all of them but yeah i'm very thankful for every every single one of them hi my name is anthony curley and you have just been buzzed anthony Peace.